As he just mentioned, driving in these conditions is not easy, nor is it advised. We saw plenty of stop traffic tonight because of stuck trucks or just poor conditions on the roads in general. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Forback. She is live in Schuylkill County tonight with more about the impacts of this storm. Caroline? Well, Candace, I'm live in Tamaqua right now, and the wind is really picking up, but it feels like the temperature is dropping. We began our coverage in Luzerne County this afternoon, scoping out the hardest hit areas of our region. Snow came down fast over Luzerne County Monday afternoon. In Hazleton, families braced for the storm, knowing it was just the beginning. I took a lot of blankets out. <laughs> I had to shovel for like two, three hours. So, a lot of a lot of cold weather. I went to go buy them hot cocoa. So we're about to go run a little bit more and then have a family night. The storm caused dangerous road conditions. PennDOT restricted major highways, banning commercial trucks and reducing speed limits to 45 miles per hour. Did you have to drive at all? Yes, I yeah. actually drove. It was, it was a crazy. little crazy to a little slippery alive. It was, so you just got to take your time. 2021, how are you? 20 minutes outside of Hazleton in the borough of Freeland, Mayor John Buda declared a state of emergency as well as a travel restriction. All non-emergency vehicles must stay off the roadways until the storm passes. Everybody's got to lay low for a little bit and let the street guys do their job and clear the road so things can get back to normal. People who live in Freeland, like John Stefanik, are used to intense winter weather thanks to their elevation. Freeland is the highest borough in Luzerne County. Locals know how to make the best of a snow storm. We'll have snowball fights and just slide around. To check on your neighbors, the elderly especially, make sure that, you know, they have uh, food and their medication and, you know, if they need a hand shoveling, you shovel them out. And well, It's a pretty good community. Everybody works together. And Happy Nor'easter! The snow was most intense in Carbon and Monroe counties, but we're dealing with dangerous road conditions across our coverage area. For now, reporting live here in Tamaqua, Caroline Forback, Eyewitness News.